How you doing guys? This is Chris from Professional Imaging here today with another problem solving video for your Typhoon H. So this video um, has to do with the binding process between your Typhoon H, the Seago 3 Plus camera, and your ST16 controller. So the purpose for this video is some of you guys are losing connection from your ST16 controller to your Seago 3 Plus camera or your ST16 controller to your Typhoon H. So now just as your cell phone connects to Wi-Fi networks or your laptop connects to Wi-Fi networks, your controller works with the Wi-Fi network in order to connect to your Typhoon H or the Seago 3 Plus camera. So on the controller we have two antennas. I'm just going to say the long one and the short one. So the long one is on a Wi-Fi network connecting to the Typhoon H and controlling the H and the gimbal. Now the short stubby um, antenna, that one is on a Wi-Fi uh, wi network connecting you to the Seago 3 Plus camera and allowing you to see what it sees. So when you guys have an error or you're not able to see or control your aircraft, that has to do with the lack of Wi-Fi communication between your drone. So in a second, we're going to go into the controller and we're going to show you guys how to start from scratch and reestablish these connections to hopefully fix your problems. All right, guys, so now we're looking at our ST16 controller up close so we can show you guys exactly what you need to do. So now in our demonstrated situation right now, you can see that we have connection to our uh, Seago 3 Plus camera but we don't have any connection to our Typhoon H. How do we know that? Well, we can see that we have video displayed on the controller, but we don't have any of our flight telemetry settings connected and established. Another way to prove that we're not connected to Typhoon H is if we rotate the pan mode, we can see that our Seago 3 Plus camera is not rotating because we don't have an established connection. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into model select and we're gonna press okay. And now if you see, you should have one copy of Typhoon H. Now ignore the simulator. That's only in my ST16 controller because I previously bound that to a flight simulator. Yours won't have that. So right now we're purely going to be focusing on the Typhoon H profile that your ST16 controller already has downloaded and connected to your Typhoon H. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold down that Typhoon H profile and we're going to hit copy. We're going to wait for that to copy, and then we're going to hold down that new model. We're going to hit edit, and you can name that whatever you like. So in this instance, I'm going to name that Typhoon H copy, and we're going to hit save. Now that that's saved, we're going to click Typhoon H copy, press OK, and that's going to bring us back to our main menu. Now what we have to do is we have to go back to our Typhoon H, turn that off and put that into bind mode. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now, all right? All right, guys, so after going to model select and creating that new copy of the Typhoon H profile, you'll see that on your main screen of the Typhoon H's controller that there's still no um, telemetry data and we now no longer have connection to our Seago 3 Plus camera. So if I pull our Typhoon H over, we'll see that on the back, it's blinking blue. And that blue means that there's just no connection to the controller. So now we want to put our Typhoon H into bind mode. So what we want to do is find the two eyes or the sensors. I just like to call them eyes for simplicity. And we want to take the controller, uh, the Typhoon H carefully, sorry. And we want to tilt it eyes to the ground in a 45 degree um, angle. Do this a couple times and the blinking light will turn orange or yellow. And that means that it's now in binding mode. So you'll see on the back, we now have a blinking yellow light. So now we're going to go back into the ST16 controller and show you guys how to finalize the binding process. Alright guys, so now that our Typhoon H is in binding mode by flashing orange or yellow, we're now ready to finalize the binding process. So in order to do that, we're going to go to our controller and we're going to press System Settings. System Settings is going to take us right to the binding menu. So now as you see in model and camera, we're not connected to either. There's going to be no aircraft model connected and no camera model connected, and it displays that in orange. So what we're going to do is we're going to press reset, we're going to press refresh, and we now have a model number displayed for our aircraft and for our camera. So we're going to highlight both of these in blue by selecting them, and we're going to press bind. So now we're prompted to type in a password for our Seago 3 Plus camera. That password is the default password set by Unique, and it's 1 through 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. Press OK. 
and wait for the controller to connect and bind to the aircraft in the Seagull 3 Plus camera. Now that we have our connection established, press OK. Press the back button on the bottom of the controller and it'll take you back to the main display screen. You'll see now that we have video and a connection to the Seagull 3 Plus camera and we have our telemetry data present on the sides of the controller. Alright guys, so just to recap the entire process, first we're going to go into our model select and we're going to create a copy of the Typhoon H profile that's already present. We're going to name that, well in our, in our example, we name that Typhoon H copy. So then we're, that's going to be highlighted in blue after you press save and from there you're going to tap it. After you tap it, it's going to take you back to your main display screen. From that point your aircraft is going to be blinking blue and it's going to be disconnected from the controller entirely. You should also see no video from the Seagull 3 Plus camera. From this point, you want to turn off your aircraft and turn it back on. From that point, you want to do that 45 degree rock once it turns back on, and you want to wait till the back light is either a yellow or orange. From that point, we want to go back into our controller, we want to go to system settings, and from there we're going to be at the bind screen. From there, we're going to press refresh and restart doesn't matter the order, restart, refresh. You can do it a couple times until you see a model number listed underneath aircraft and camera. From that point, we're going to highlight both model numbers at the same time, so you have them both highlighted in blue, and you're going to press bind. From there, you may or may not be prompted to type in a password to enter a connection for your uh, Seagull 3 Plus camera. Um, the only time that you wouldn't have a password needed to be entered is if you had already previously binded that camera to this controller. In that instance, you wouldn't need a password. But once you have both of these bound, press the back button to put you back to the main display screen, and you should have a full connection with full data present on the controller and Seagull 3 Plus video. From there, you can play around with the pan modes and make sure you're connected fully. So after that, guys, hopefully this solved your problem. If you have any questions or concerns, just post that below. Be sure to subscribe to our page, and we'll be looking forward to putting out more videos for you guys. So stay tuned.